Okay, so here's question two from the December 2014 um, Gangs Power, and it's a, a Katrina painting. And it says, uh, for this exercise, you need to use canvas one and canvas two that are on the answer sheet. And it says, Katrina uh, paints in her spare time. On a course, she has learned some methods she can use when she paints. On sketch one, a method is shown where she splits up the canvas into nine equally large rectangles by drawing horizontal and vertical lines. The important parts of the painting have to be where the lines cross each other. And there you can see, for example, um, the sun, the light in the lighthouse, the house, all at the important points where the lines cross each other. Um, the horizon for the uh, the sea on one of the lines. So you get the idea. Split up canvas one um, into nine equally sized rectangles in the same way. So that's just three easy marks for measuring that and drawing four lines. Um, you say I say easy, but um, I'm often surprised how badly people can do that. Okay, next part. Uh, Katrina has also learned that when she has to paint a sunset, the painting gets a good construction if the horizon um, splits the side of the canvas in the way shown in sketch 2 to the right. And the important information here that a lot of people miss is on the side. So L is the length of the side of the canvas, and then the distance from the bottom up to the horizon is L divided by 1.618. So that will vary depending on what L is, but the basic relationship between um, where the horizon is, proportional to the whole of the picture, should stay the same. So it says, investigate uh, with measurement and calculation whether Katrina has placed the horizon line on canvas 2 in the right way. So there's canvas 2, and if we measure it, now this depends on the size that your um, exam question is, because it, it gets photocopied to different sizes, but on my one, I measured it, and it was, there it is, uh, 13.6 centimeters. So L was 13.6 centimeters. So if we then work out L divided by 1.618, 13.6 divided by 1.618, we get about 8.4. So that means that from the bottom up to the horizon line should be about 8.4. And indeed, you can see it is. So I've written as the answer to that. Um, there it is, measured at 8.4. I've written uh, a few lines. L is, brackets measured to show how I've done it, 13.6. L divided by 1.618 is, and then how I worked it out to be 8.4. And then a comment, the horizon line is placed correctly. Um, generally, you get a lot of questions that ask you to compare or confirm two things. And it helps to have two lines where you work the things out. Um, and then a comment at the end just saying uh, what your conclusion is to all of that. Okay, part three. Katrina's father claims that she could just as well split the canvas on one side in the method shown in sketch three to the right. How many centimetres difference is there between the two placings of the horizon line if L is 50? Um, so L is the height of the canvas, I guess L possibly standing for the length. Um, so if that's 50, then Katrina's father is saying that her, the horizon could just be L divided by 3, so a third of the way down from the top, in other words. So the question is, um, between doing it the original way and the way that Katrina's father says, how much difference is there in where you're placing that horizon line? So let's have a look at that. If L is 50, so 50 from the top to the bottom of the canvas, then from the bottom to the horizon line should be L divided by 1.618, and 50 divided by 1.618 is about 30.9.
Now, doing it the way that Katrina's father says, L is still 50. The canvas is still 50 from top to bottom. But then he's saying L divided by 3, 16.67, 50 divided by 3, tells you how far from the top of the canvas to the horizon line. So you've got a little bit of a problem there in that one method is telling you how far from the bottom and the other method is telling you how far from the top. And a lot of people make the mistake of just subtracting those from each other. What you want to know is how far are these two horizon lines apart from each other. So you can see they're not very far apart, but we need to work out how far this bottom measurement means that there is left at the top, or the other way around, how much this top measurement leaves at the bottom. So doing that, well, let's uh, work out here. If that's 16.67, then from the bottom to the horizon must be 50 minus 16.67, and that's 33.33. So the horizon on this one is 33.33 from the bottom, and the horizon on this one is 30.9 from the bottom. So the difference is 2.43 centimeters. Now you could just as well have um, done that working it out from the top and you'd have still got a 2.43 centimeter difference between the two horizon lines. So that doesn't really matter. Um, but I did it that way from the bottom. So 30.33 minus 30.9. Now I need to really show where I got those numbers from. So I got 30.33 uh, from 50 minus 16.77 over there. Sorry, that should say 67, shouldn't it? My mistake, my bad. And then I got 30.9 uh, from 50 divided by 1.618 over there. And then I got the 16 point, should have been 6, 7 from 50 divided by 3, up there. So putting that in a single line of calculation, I could write that the difference is that expression, which comes to 2.43. So that's how I set that out um, for a neat answer with everything nicely lined up as it should be. And those are the marks, four, four, four.